along the way, but put some respect on his name. Like he has, he is a very good competitor, and I'm curious to see how he does here. But he basic, I think just recently, didn't he come out of main stage? I think at like 49th or so, at like 800 plus uh, entrances. So he's still keeping up with that competition, still being able to put his boy on board. And it's great to see a lot of these players have changed their tags within the last like year and a half to two years. Yeah, so. that's quad. Now I, I know I was trying to figure out who that was. So this is the little Mac who qualified through winter side. Which what we're looking at, I think we might be in another pool here because uh, I hadn't seen a play yet. So we got Quaz coming up here, who had an incredible run yesterday through pools. You really should check out those matches if you missed them. And the thing with this matchup, especially on town, both of them are going to kill you sub 100. <laughs> That's just the name of the game. But both of them love mashing the big green button. That's their best friend. One of them likes to do it on short hop. The other one likes to do it on ground with armor. But nonetheless, it's a green button here. And you see Quaz is on that Mac. And you can see also that he's also got these platforms to work with. But... In general, that's going to benefit Mugen to be able to try to go right around Quaz to work out for that KO punch too that is now on deck. So all that effort that you've been able to build up for yourself doesn't even need to worry about it because he does have that uppy to help reset. Exactly. I really like what he tried to do there too with the down smash because you force an air dodge. Oh, yeah, you're done. Are you, you don't even... Yeah, that's, what, but that's the issue, It doesn't matter. Just as and long as you get him. too. Yeah, that's another thing too. Mm -hmm. The disjoint can be a bit of trouble for Mac. That's why he can find things like Ike very annoying because you just don't commit. Just don't commit to anything. But Roy is a brawler disguised as a sortie because of that sweet spot on the center. But this is one of the few matches where you find that off stage. Those sour spots actually work out as he almost works out that stock. That was about to be a chaos off the top of Town City definitely coming in there. That's scary, but you see the moment he left from the platform, we just stared at him in the face. The <laughs> Duff got to give him a 1-2 here, and now the immediate retaliation. You see Mugen on the platform. He wanted to go oh, for a wait, second, wait, but this wait, may be oh, a double-edged You know what? Okay. That makes that makes sense. For a second, I thought he had a second. Oh, oh, he did have it at the end! <laughs> <laughs> Don't let it be you! Don't let it be you! Great equalizing mechanic. You know what else is a great equalizer? Jab Baron's uh, double edge dance at the ledge. So this this stock might disappear quickly for Quaz too if he's not too careful, especially pushing with the sleeve. Down tilt is such a good way to force those tech cases, but Mugen's actually taking a lot of damage right now. A lot, and you see the backup too, just to wait to see what Mugen's gonna do on land. But I like the delay there too. He stuttered on purpose so that way he can still think. Quaz, you have to drop that shield in that moment so that way he can go through with the full hit. Yeah, double edge dance st uh, stagger is actually one of the scariest things to do. It. You just don't. You just jump side beat at Roy on a platform. What? Why? I have nothing. I. I will break down both situations. I love it. Theory crafting is great. Analytics are fantastic. <laughs> I literally have no idea why you just did that. And Mugen is pretty happy about it. Looks almost unfazed, honestly. Looks as the same, the same exact cut and copy of what Mugen looked like prior to the set. <laughs> Laid back, comfortable. See it again right here. Just another day at work here for Mugen. But I'm not gonna lie, that KO punch, at least moving forward a little bit, you know, you gotta get it back into that gamer position where you're constantly, you're literally hugging the TV. But Mugen just says, all right, you know what? was able to capitalize off of this mistake, and it's Little Mac at the end of the day. It's, we were talking about those disjoints that Swords have, and it's so difficult to try. You have to forcefully not only stay on your ledge, but stay on the stage here, but you also have to understand that you're Little Mac. Exactly. Everybody knows how to exploit that recovery here, but if you don't, you're going to be able to allow him to just run amok on the stage. It's a key factor. I'm sorry, I was giggling so much because when I was looking at Mugen, he had that look like when you had, like, when you're going to a family party that you have absolutely <laughs> no intention of wanting to be there and you're stuck, and everybody's trying to talk to you, you're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Can I get my plate? Can I go home now? Yeah, like, those, <laughs> those, those one words just come in and KO Punch is now here. You can see Mugen constantly keeping him up in the air, very similar to what he did to get rid of KO Punch in game number one when he had that up B. Gets that tech though, but immediately retaliates. Quaz Vespio is able to get that grab. That was a stock if Quaz found that jab block. He was trying to find the, uh, the oh. air jab block. That was really good for Mugen, recognizing that the tech might come through. You're forced to up either. You don't really want to side beat just in case you go below the ledge. And double nares, getting him straight. Oh, going for the single hit double yeah, edge dance just to keep that pressure on. And to keep him lingering there too, just in case uh, Quaz wanted to try to DI into him here. So the tech does manage to get right back towards the ledge. I like to walk though towards the stage. Where's the head too? Yeah, <laughs> it literally and it sent him all the way back towards the ledge. The side B, and then now you can see him trying to just jump back. The air dodge was the best option here because he did not want to try to get hit. That was good too because and now that little Max know that they could do that dare jump to make it back a little bit safer. Yeah. That you you're like Mugen was thinking he was gonna go low at that point. You're not gonna oh actually you are gonna live that. Oh my goodness. You're using the dare jump, but you get the counter and that's a stock. Where do you go at that point? You're below the ledge, you're Little Mac here, jumps right on top of the platform, gets that grab, goodbye, up B, immediately.
immediately tries to reverse the situation, but is down an entire stock. Not even, not in the way that he wants, but this is the issue here. You're constantly forced by the ledge, well, and it just takes one poke, one little poke. That is all it takes to just completely win the matchup. That is so unfortunate, but this is one of those situations where you know what you're getting yourself into when in the character selection. Mm -hmm. When you go Little Mac against a character like Roy, it's so difficult, yeah. especially with those two frames. Just the, the 